everybody come into this world that blinks late What you do with that slate up to you I made sure mine was dope as shit headlining Gotham City Comedy Club in New York. Yeah. And Chris, the owner of the club, said, hey, we have a guest spot. And I go, who is it? And he said, Lance Constopoulos. And I said, I never heard of him. He goes, you're going to want to see him. It's almost like if someone really famous was there. And I was like, who is this guy? He was different. Yeah. He was like no other comedian at the comedy store. Or no other comedian that I've ever seen. He leaves the room in shambles, like when he does stand up. Like he, he, uh, I've never had to follow him, but it would be very, very tricky. It's a lot of confidence. I guess I would say I envy his confidence. I think it's not for everybody. I don't, it's, I'll say this for, for Lance, he's not derivative. I had a lot of coffee today. You ever have so much coffee, you have like sweaty butt, you know? <laughs> I've got that going on. <laughs> you know, like you think it might be leakage, but it's just sweat. <laughs> Just a lot of cold brew today. <laughs> I shouldn't have had so much cold brew. <laughs> they should put that on the bottle, you know, like make a sweaty butthole. <laughs> but I feel like that would detract you from, you'd be like, oh no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I have a meeting today, I can't afford. <laughs> What if you were wearing khakis and after an hour meeting, you have to leave and you're just like, thank you, it was nice meeting you. I hope that we can reconnect on LinkedIn or something. I think the dancing is just kind of him. It's so real and so masculine and so raw. But the energy of it's so undeniable, you know? Like, the room kind of starts vibrating. That's how I feel about it. I want it to go on forever. <laughs> Crystalia. Like, Crystalia. Yeah? Yeah, Crystalia. Uh, yeah, I, I, I know Bobby. Do you think it was your style? It was totally my style. Everybody knew it was my style. I wish I could be more like him, just in that, you know, I, I always feel like there's a part of me that's, I want people to like me. And Lance is sort of like, you're lucky that I'm sharing my time with you. Warriors, Cavs, great basketball going on. Then they have the commercial break, and it's like WNBA, you know, like get ready. <laughs> like, hey, you're watching the best basketball in the world. Get ready for a worse version of this. <laughs> Aren't you amped up for 360 tomahawk layups? All the bounce passes you can handle. <laughs> Some people love it though. They're like, no, WNBA, it's good. It's good competition. You know, I love WNBA. It's like a slippery slope. Then like, what do you love? Special Olympics or something, you know? <laughs> like, unless you're a family member of someone at Special Olympics, like who goes and watches that, right? <laughs> Does someone just love, like, retard deadlift? They just go...
Like, I like to go see Down Syndrome swimming. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they take a left. <laughs> they spice it up. Sometimes they dive. You don't know what sport you're getting. One guy tried running on the bottom of the pool. He thought it was like a liquid track meet. Do you know women that have slept with clients? Oh yeah, every girl I pretty much know. He hit on, I think, every girl. And he was literally like, how about you? How about you? How about you? How about you? Did any they didn't even know what, they were, what he was talking about. Blondes yeah. or brunettes? Blondes or brunettes? I mean, holes are holes. <laughs> I've heard that he brought like a European herpes. He brought like a European crabs to the States. He just sort of propagating rumors that, uh, that I have these diseases. So you think he's kind of like spreading these rumors so that like girls that he maybe wants to sleep with? He's just trying to put me out of competition. He just wants girls to think that I have something happening down here and won't want to fuck me. But here's the crazy thing. Girls know this, even though it's not true. They think I have weird Euro herpes and crabs, and they still fuck me. It's worth it. They still, they take the chance. Yeah. So... Do you use protection? No. But let me just tell Neil, any, any press is good press. So thank you. Um, I'm just... Yeah, we're in America, bro. Come on. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> what am I gonna tell you? Like, no, there's like a fucking every day there's a new video on Facebook. <laughs> there's police officers using black kids as CrossFit equipment. <laughs> Unless he has 15 plants in the audience, I don't, I think he's making things up. The camps are divided, right? You have the guys that know they're good, like Bill Burr, Jeff Ross. We know we, we, we can identify what talent is, and we go, oh, that's, you can't fuck with it, you know? And then there's the ones that don't like them. Do you feel like there's animosity or bitterness towards you, jealousy? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. How, how do you deal with that? I don't even worry about it. It's not my problem. That guy goes to sleep angry. I don't give a shit. How do you go to sleep? Like a baby. I'm at the top, he's at the bottom. Why do I give a shit? I sleep better knowing he's at the bottom. Yeah. I have dreams about me going higher and him going lower. What do you do in the dreams? I'm flying, I have wings, and he's just, he has no legs. I start in the field and then I end up in the forest area. Kind of above it. Kind of above it, and like I'm higher just, than trees. Is he in the middle of the field? Or? He's kind of, there's a giant crater. Is the no legs thing new? Like did he just get hit by a missile or? It's a dream, it's not explained why he has no legs. Are you having a hard time here? No, not really. They see me and they don't want the hard time. <laughs> One time some guy was driving a pickup truck, he goes, hey, sand, never mind. <laughs> and then I just, I chased him like T-1000. <laughs> then I was in the bed of the pickup truck and he was swerving, but I kept on holding the bed. And then I go, and there was a hand when he was driving. <laughs> and then I pulled the wheel and, and he go through this windshield. And he's not with us anymore. <laughs> but I landed like this. <laughs> and there was a crater that rippled because I hit the ground so hard. <sighs> and then I just went into Whole Foods like I planned to do. just went about my day. He's dead, but you know, it's Tuesday for me. Yeah, Lance tried to get me to get him on 24. I had to explain to him that 24 wasn't even on the air right now. I think he just wanted to carry like a lot of guns and knives and incorporate it with 
dance moves. I don't know how he got through security. Yeah. But he, maybe he scaled a wall, but he shows up at Sony where we shoot. Yeah, he went right up to Mike Judge and was like, here, I'm a Chinese food delivery guy. And then I, the guys like me, and then I sort of stay in and teach him how to dance. Well, first of all, he asked me, and I'm, I don't really, I'm not in control of that, but he was like, what's up with Undateable? And I was like, oh yeah, we, it's cool, like the third season's coming up, and he was like, no, like, how do I get on that? He wanted to do a show, a 22-minute show, where he just runs on the beach with his shirt off. And are you saving lives, or is it more No, just run? running, I'm just running. Is there any There's kind of no dialogue, no. I will do rocks one week. Be rocks. I will do the piers. On the pier. Just him running, no shirt. <laughs> What's the what? What's shawarma made of? Shawar well, you're not saying it right, number one. That's how white you are. It's shawarma. Shawarma. Have you been saying this to the brown people behind the counter the whole time? That's how, that's how that store owner knows it's about to be gentrified. You're like the canary in a mine. It's ridiculous. There's never been anyone that's been doing it a year that has such a honed sensibility like Lance. I've come very far in a short amount of time, but there are things that I still want. I want an Academy Award. I want a BAFTA. I want a BET Award. I want a Kids' Choice Award. I want, which one is the one where, where they give you a surfboard? I think that's Teen? Awesome. Yeah, or Nick Kids' Teen. Choice? Nick Teen, I think. Nick Teen. Mm -hmm. Like ass or boobs? Ass or boobs? Why choose? You know? It's both. Like both. You too? Me too. Yeah, we could be friends. <laughs> Did you with the chick? I with the chick. Yeah. What does she have? She has. Oh, this backfired, huh? <laughs> Oh, these are bold questions to be asking with a girl right next to you. It's a boomerang question. Oh, shit! What does she have? You, both. Both, babe. Hey, you got both. A's are the new D's. Comedy is a trampoline. It's a springboard into whatever the fuck I want to do. You think I'm going to stay at comedy? No. I'm going to shake off the shackle of comedy and ride the balloons to superstardom. Do you think you'll ever revisit the shackles of comedy? Yeah, I'll be too high. Nobody knows what to do with him, you know? I think you find that with people who are the most talented. It's like he can do so many things. I think Lance has a future in globally. Yeah. Like, whatever he wants to do, he can do. And um, some people are born with intrinsic talent, and he's just one of them. It seems to me like he's the kind of comedian that wants to be uh, in front of people and is doing comedy to do something to get somewhere. I mean, the fact that we don't know what he does or where his name is from, he can't be put into a box. Mm -hmm.